you get me what's good everybody it's larry L. welcome back to my video again today i'm gonna go through something really cool it's how to create vocal harmonies from scratch yes from scratch today's video is sponsored by distrokid if you don't know about distrokid you're messing up specifically something about distrokid if you're already signed up, this is one of the main th main reasons why I signed up with DistroKid and it's the team section. I work with multiple artists, I'm a producer as you guys know, and I work with different artists and different producers too, and a great way to split the revenue automatically is through the team section. As far as I know, there's nobody else out there that does it like this and this easily. Go to my music, click on the song that you want to split, go down to team right here, and all you have to do is edit team, I already have a split as you can see it's my homie Peter Piffin we split it 50 50 and it goes into his DistroKid account you have to make sure that the other person has a DistroKid account but what's really dope is if they don't you just send them a link and they get a 7% off their their uh, sign up fee also if you want to sign up and you haven't signed up for DistroKid you can use my sign up fee in my description below that's 7% off sign up but yeah so with that being said guys let's hop right into this video we're going to show you guys how to create vocal harmonies from scratch yes from scratch all right so i have a vocal i have a vocal sample pulled up right now let's just give it a run listen to what it sounds like cool so yeah this is just a vocal sample that i got from a pack and i want to create a harmony on it and obviously the singer isn't here and if you work with singers and they create a vocal and maybe they're not available anymore this is a great way to create a harmony or sometimes you know some people can't hit those harmonies so this is a great tool to do that as well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it down and we're gonna make it unique first make unique as sample so that way what we do to this one doesn't affect this one and now we're gonna right click or just left click the menu in the top left of the sample and go to pitch correct sample now be mindful if you don't know the key this is labeled so this is in E major this is huge right here. This is a huge help and tools and time saver. So if you don't know the key of it, you're gonna wanna find that out. There's multiple tools on how to find that. Now that we know the key is E major, what you're gonna do is go to the scissor tool, go to scale, and then select E major. Now go back to the scissor tool and hit snap to scale. So now any note that you move it to, it's gonna be locked into that scale. So let's just give it a nice lock in right here. Highlight everything and right click. If anything was slightly out, it'll lock it in. And what I usually do is I just go through these notes until it sounds pretty good. And then we might have to go back and forth because it might sound good here, but when you put it on top of the other one, it might not sound that great. So we might have to hop back into new tone, but um, you know, we'll see. And like I said, whenever you move a note, up or down it's not gonna move it to a wrong note it's only gonna move it to notes that are in the scale of E major that's why we did snap to scale ahead of time you can see that it skips it skips F right there it, it, it completely skips F because F isn't in the scale of E major Song but last day and see. 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 All right, we're just kind of, you know, we're going random here just to see what it sounds like. Song but last day and see. You can mess around with the variation if you want to. It just really takes away that curve. It makes it more flat and robotic. So it depends what, you, what you're going for. Song but last day. And it does sound slightly robotic because, like I said, we're creating a harmony from scratch. But once you layer it in there and you mix it the right way and you tuck it down in the, in the volume, it's not going to sound that robotic. It's going to sound really cool. Song but last day. See. Yeah, I think we can try dragging that in. So what you do is you hover over this tool right here click and you drag it on top of that one that we made unique and cross your fingers let's see what it sounds like song but last day and see sounds pretty dumb yeah so let's level it out a little bit turn it down song but last day and see really dope simple way to create your own harmonies from scratch foolproof way right song but last 
you know, then if you want, you could spice it up with some reverb, do whatever you'd like. You know, EQ it. Maybe we EQ that harmony a different way. So this is actually the harmony here. Yeah, so maybe you want to throw like an, e an EQ on it and maybe like make it a little bit thinner. And if you wanted to like widen it up a little bit, you could throw a stereo shaper on it. There's a good stock plug-in, Fruity Stereo Shaper. Um, yeah, and I just kind of go through the presets. Fire. Yeah. So, like I said, guys, hit the link in my description if you want to get that 7% off DistroKid. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you get me.